Hello, and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says, The following frequency distribution gives the monthly consumption of electricity of 68 consumers of a locality. Find the medium, mean and mode of the data and compare them. Monthly consumption in units and number of consumers. For 65 to 85, Number of consumers are 4, for 85 to 105, number of consumers are 5, for 105 to 125, it is 13, for 125 to 145, it is 20, for 145 to 165, it is 14, 165 to 185, it is 8, and 185 to 205, it is 4. Now we know that mean x bar is equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi where fi is the frequency of the ith class and xi is the class mark of the ith class. And we know that class mark is equal to upper class limit plus lower class limit upon 2. Now we know that the median is a measure of central tendency which gives the value of the middlemost observation in the data. Now in a group data we may not be able to find the middle observation by looking at the cumulative frequencies as the middle observation will be some value in a class interval. It is therefore necessary to find the value inside a class that divides the whole distribution into two halves. But how we will find this class? To find this class, we find the cumulative frequencies of all the classes and n upon 2. Then we will locate the class whose cumulative frequency is greater than n nearest to n by 2. This is called the median class. After finding the median class, we use the formula median is equal to n plus n by 2 minus cf upon f into h where l is the lower limit of the median class number of observations and CF is equal to cumulative frequency class preceding the median class F is the frequency of the median class And H is the class size Now to find mode We will first find the modal class The class 
having maximum frequency then we will use the formula mod is equal to L plus F1 minus F0 upon 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H where L is a lower limit of the modal class H is the size of the class interval is the frequency of the modal class F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class And F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now we are given monthly consumption units and number of consumers now if the monthly consumption is from 65 units to 85 units Then the number of consumers are 4. For 85 to 105, it is 5. For 105 to 125, it is 13. And for 125 to 145, it is 20. Now, for 145 to 165, it is 14 and 165 to 185, it is 8 and for 185 to 205, it is 4. Now, to find mean, let us make a column for class mark that is we will find the class mark of each class now we know that we find the class mark of each class by finding the average of its upper and lower limits that is the class mark for the class 65 to 85 is 65 plus 85 upon 2 which is 75. Now the class mark of the class 85 to 105 is 85 plus 105 upon 2 
which is 95 similarly class mark of this class is 115 and the class mark of this class that is the class 125 to 145 it is 135 and the class mark of this class is 155 and the class mark of this class is 175 and the class mark of the class 185 to 205 is 195 now we will make a column for fixi that is we will multiply each xi with the corresponding frequency fi this is our fi number of consumers now 4 into 75 is 300 5 into 95 is 475 13 into 115 is 1495 and 20 into 135 is 2700 and 14 into 155 is 2170 and 8 into 175 is 1400 and 4 into 195 is 780 now we will find the sum of all frequency that is now we will find sum of all the frequencies that is sigma fi which is equal to 68 Similarly, we will find sigma f i x i, which is equal to nine three two zero. Therefore, mean x bar is equal to sigma f i x i upon sigma f i, and this is equal to nine three two zero upon sixty eight, and This is equal to one thirty-seven point zero five units. That is, mean is equal to one thirty-seven point zero five units. Now let us find the mode of the given data. Now, from this table, we observe the maximum frequency is 20, and the class having the maximum frequency is 125 to 145. So, our middle class is 125 to 125 that is the lower limit of the model class h the size of the class interval is 20 and s1 the frequency of the model class is also 20 now f0 is 13 that is the frequency of the class preceding the model class and f2 is 14 which is the frequency of the class succeeding the model class so f0 is 13 and f2 is 14 so let us substitute these values in the formula mod is equal to l plus f1 minus f0 upon 2f1 minus F zero minus F two 
इंटू एच एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस एफ वन इज ट्वेंटी माइनस थर्टीन अपॉन टू एफ वन टू इंटू ट्वेंटी माइनस थर्टीन माइनस फोर्टीन इंटू ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस सेवन अपॉन फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन दिस इज थर्टीन इंटू ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज अगेन इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वन फोर्टी अपॉन थर्टी एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस नाउ वन फोर्टी अपॉन थर्टीन इज इक्वल टू टेन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स देर फोर लोड इज इक्वल टू वन थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स यूनिट्स नाउ वी विल फाइंड द मीडियम ऑफ द गिविंग डेटा टू फाइंड मीडियम वी विल फर्स्ट फाइंड द क्यूमरेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसीज ऑफ ऑल द क्लासेस एन एन बाय टू सो लेट एस मी ए कॉलम फॉर क्यूमरेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी Now, cumulative frequency of this class is four, and cumulative frequency of this class is four plus five, which is equal to nine. Again, cumulative frequency of this class is nine plus thirteen, which is equal to twenty-two, and The cumulative frequency of this class is 22 plus 20, which is equal to 42. Again, cumulative frequency of this class is 42 plus 14, which is equal to 56. And cumulative frequency of this class is 56 plus 8. And this is equal to sixty-four. And cumulative frequency of this class is sixty-four plus four. And this is equal to sixty-eight. Now, in this distribution, n is sixty-eight, so n by two is equal to. Sixty-eight upon two, which is equal to thirty-four. Now we will locate a class whose cumulative frequency is greater than and nearest to n by two, that is thirty-four. And that will be our median class. Now one twenty-five to one forty-five is the class whose cumulative frequency forty-two is. Greater than thirty-four, and it is nearest to thirty-four. Therefore, one twenty-five to one forty-five is the median class. Now, after finding the median class, we use the formula. Median is equal to n plus n by two minus c f upon f into h. Now, here l. Which is the lower limit of the median class is 125. In number of observation is 68, and CF, cumulative frequency is 
relative frequency of class preceding the median class is 22 F the frequency of the median class is 20 and H is class size and this is 20 now on substituting these values in the formula, medium is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF upon F into H, we get medium is equal to L125 plus N by 2, 68 upon 2 minus 22 upon 20 into 20 and this is equal to 125 plus 68 minus 44 upon 2 into 20 into 20 and this is again equal to 125 plus 24 upon 40 into 20 So we have median is equal to one twenty five plus twelve, which is equal to one thirty seven units. Now we have found the mean, median, and mode. Of the given distribution, median is equal to 137 units and mean is equal to 137.05 units and mode is equal to 135.76 units. So we see the three measures are approximately the same. So from above results, We conclude that the three measures mean, median and mode are approximately the same hence the answer for the above question is median is equal to 137 units mean is equal to 137.05 units and mode is equal to 135.76 units the three measures are approximately the same in this case. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and take care.